as a brain scientist, one of the things that I know is that the brain is an organ that modifies itself. So what pornography is doing for a lot of young people is it's coming in at a time when they're at this very vulnerable state neurologically. And so what it does is it plants this seed of what's appropriate, what's possible. And that's when neurologically you begin to start dwelling on it. You begin to start thinking about what would happen if I was in that scenario? What would I do? So a, uh, a neurological system that is designed to go to a place where two people through sexual intimacy are bound to one another for their f mutual benefit, you're now redirecting it so that their sexuality is, bi is binding them to something other than that relationship. Hijacking is a great way to put it because when you hijack something, you take it from going where it's supposed to go and send it to someplace else. One of the things that terrifies people is when they hear that pornography changes your brain. And there's this terror that sets upon them as if somehow they are sticking a tumor or something <laughs> into their brain and altering it in a way that's irreversible. And that's not the case. So when we think about pornography coming in and we make the claim that it's changing your brain, well, yes, it's changing your brain, but everything is changing your brain at some level because that's what the brain's designed to be. That is, it's supposed to be an organ that is modifiable and plastic. And so what you, you need to think about in this journey of recovery is not how do I just wash all that away? Because then what would happen is you'd just be back to start and you would probably, by the way, make the same mistakes over again. So what you need to do is you need to learn a different trajectory and a different direction.